Which MVC book is helpful to read? Whether you want to read one for yourself or maybe you want to give one to someone in the hopes that they will also fall in love with non-violence communication, I'm going to read all those books for you and I will tell you if it's worthwhile to spend your cash on. So this time I'm reading Nonviolence Communication, a companion workbook by Lucy Liu. This is the Dutch translation. And this book is explicitly meant as a companion for Marshall Rosenberg's book, the book that I was reviewing last time. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link somewhere. And that's like a best-selling NVC book, but I, as I was saying, it was lacking a little bit in practical exercises. And this book is meant as a workbook for that particular book. So now for some plus and downsides of this book. On the plus side. So this is a really hands-on practical workbook. It does exactly what it promises. It guides you in 13 weeks through Marshall's book. And each week you get exercises that will stimulate you to, to go try NVC in real life. Also, this book is great for if you're starting an NVC practice group. Every week you also have exercises that you can do in your group. And it also contains a lot of chapters about any kind of problems that you may encounter when you're working in a group. Like, you know, what, what do we do when we get into conflict? What do we do if one person is kind of like dominant? Or what if someone's leaving the group? It really feels to me like a very complete list of anything that might happen in a group and what you can do in a kind of NVC way in that case. And for me, it was even kind of like, just to read it was kind of giving me empathy for, you know, all the groups I've ever been in and like, oh wow, this is just normal, you know, all this stuff happens. And there are some solutions for it as well. So now for some downsides. So I didn't have many downsides for this book, but just two small things. First thing is that this is actually two books in one. So it's both meant for groups, like how to set up your practice group, which exercises can you do with Marshall's book, and also an individual plan. So same thing, each chapter there's exercises for uh, when you do it individually. And they try to, every time there was a, a group exercise to come up with a the equivalent for the individual and sometimes that gets a bit forced like for example uh, you're being asked in a group to go in pairs and to uh, give empathy to someone about something and then it says for the individual um, try to do it for yourself and I'm like how exactly are you wanting me to do this and secondly the book comes across as a little bit still um, this is my opinion, I mean, as everything I say in this video, but I'm saying it now because I find it hard to motivate it. I think it's partly because, well, it was published 15 years ago, first published 15 years ago. Um, so maybe it has to do some, something to do with that. Or what I noticed, some tips are feel a little redundant. Like for example, she says, you know, you uh, get a notebook or a computer to make notes for this book. And I'm a bit like, yeah, I'm not a child, you know, it's like, eh. Maybe it just smells a bit stale. So all in all, I would really recommend it. It's the only book, as far as I know, that uh, is available about you know how to start an NVC practice group. Um, it's very helpful if you're a teacher and you want to use it combined with Marshall's book. You do really need Marshall's book to use this one. Um, and also if you're just an individual wanting to practice NVC and you have maybe Marshall's book already, this is very helpful. So I would definitely recommend it. So now, let me know in the comments, what did you think of this book? Do you know any NVC books that you would like me to review? I will have a look at it and consider your suggestions. And in general, just let me know how you like this video in the comments below. Also, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't done so already and click the bell so you get a notification whenever there's a new video. Okay, love to see you next time. Ciao!